welcome back to part two of my scotland vlog if you haven't seen part one yet i'd recommend watching that first by clicking the link in the top right of your screen now or the link in the video description we're kicking off exactly where we left it on part one this is us just leaving loch ness now heading for fort william train to arrive and we'll actually get the steam train crossing the bridge for the video. Oh, our train should be coming any second now really. I'm just going to put the camera on my tripod because I really want a uh, a good view of this. Ellie, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, there. oh my god, there it is! I'll turn the camera in then, dickhead, so we can see. Oh, Alright, we were just fucking with you. Like, the Hogwarts Express does actually ride along the viaduct pretty much daily, just not on Sundays. And, of course, we were there on a Sunday. You can actually ride the Hogwarts Express for about 65 quid, or you can just come here and view it passing over the bridge for free. This is located about 25 minutes outside of Fort William, by the way. So, after this, we drove to Fort William, and then onwards to Ben Nevis, which is about 2 minutes outside of Fort William, to find a waterfall. So we just keep this up, and we're hiking through the middle of the mountains, right here by the mountains, and we're just going to go through this middle of the mountains, and we're just going to go through the middle of the valley, and we came here for that waterfall, we'll put the name on the screen there guys, but what's cool is we're going to go on this like hiking trail, in the mountains, slash like woods, and then next thing you know, we're in this Where we camped for the night was about a five minute walk from the Glen Nevis car park which if you've seen my Three Peaks video you'll know that's where you want to park your car if you want to hike Ben Nevis up the regular path but you have to pay for that car park if you want to park for free then just park where we parked remember the coordinates are always in the video description considering we were so close to the highest mountain in the UK it would be rude to not climb it or at least some of it it's my face in focus can you look, can you go to the screen and see if it's in focus for me? I don't know, is it in focus? I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> 
Some of you guys might recognise this bridge. This is the start of the hike. If you're going up the east face, I believe, of Ben Nevis, me and Ben Nevis have unfinished business. For those of you who've seen my uh, Three Peaks video, it's one of my most popular videos, actually. And I finished it, but I didn't finish it on time. So I am going to come back, actually. Me and Ali are thinking of doing the Three Peaks again this summer. We are going to do the Three Peaks again. We are going to do three picks again this summer, but today we're just going to hike up to the shoulder. Um, go see a little lake. Go see a little lake. Yeah. So we're, we're not. <laughs> so we're not going to go right to the summit. We don't have time for that. We're going to go up to the shoulder. There's a lake up there. For those of you that hike Ben Nevis, you probably know what I'm talking about. Look at this view, guys. Bang! And that isn't it. Mountains in the background there. And I think that one's Ben Nevis. The drive from Fort William to Glasgow is one of the most scenic drives in the UK, I reckon. It takes you through Queen Elizabeth Forest Park, at the foot of mountains, incredible views, it even passes by Glencoe Ski Resort too. There's a few stops along the way, one of them being the Falls of Falloch, which were lush to be fair. Funnily enough, this is the fourth time this bridge has featured an I'm So Craigie. We only spent one night in Glasgow, but we found a place right near the city centre and right outside of the congestion zone to park up for free, and it was next to a park too. It was a hell of a find, and as usual, the coordinates are in the video description. Glasgow, mate! Found a pretty cool spot to camp last night. We're in the middle of Glasgow. We just parked next to the park, uh, this park, I think it's called Glasgow Green, I think. It's right outside the congestion zone. So you're not getting charged for congestion fees. The parking is absolutely free and there's loads of parking all up this road. Yeah, it's probably like a 20 minute walk into town. So even if you're just here for the day, guys, just park here. I'll put the coordinates for this in the video description. I don't put postcodes because this isn't an address, all right? So a postcode could just take you to the general area. I put coordinates. It's nice and easy. You just copy and paste them into Google Maps. Google Maps understands how to read the coordinates, even if you don't have a fucking clue what you're looking at. If you don't know map reading or whatever, it's not a big deal. Just copy and paste them. But I'll put the coordinates for this and all the locations we camped at in the video description. Because this is super handy. We're in the heart of Glasgow on the border of the congestion zone 20 minute walk from town and you can camp here for free 
and you could camp your reef for as long as you wanted. There's no restrictions on the parking, so it's a win, guys. It's pretty safe as well, um, it seems. So yeah, today we're gonna check out Glasgow. This is my first time in Glasgow. While in Glasgow, I decided to start my travel sleeve. It's an idea I had of creating a sleeve where each edition is done in a different country, representing that country in some way. So, adding on to my first ever tattoo I got when I was 18 in Wales, I finally kicked off the travel sleeve with some bagpipes in Glasgow. I want to give a massive shout out to Matt, the newest channel member and one of my oldest friends from my hometown. So big up Matt, thanks for joining me. And to everyone else, I'm going to end the video here with a montage of Glasgow for those of you that have never been and I'll see you on the next one.